Welcome to Storytime. I'm military expert 3, Amy Lim, and I work in the Republic of Singapore Navy. What do I do? I ensure there's enough people on board ship to take on different roles, and I plan a lesson and training for them. Today, I'm going to read about Indie, Indie, Indie. This is the second book in the Ahoy Navy Children's Series book. It is written by Tan Wini and illustrated by Mr. Kwek Hong Shin. This is six years old Josh. Today, I rode my bicycle and got home by myself. I even made my own cheese toast and tidied my bookshelf. Mummy said that I displayed some signs of independence. I didn't know what that word meant, but it sounded quite important. So what does independence mean? It means that you can think and act for yourself, and it also means that it's being free and not under control of anyone. Over here, can you guess what Josh's mummy worked as? I looked it up on mum's laptop and found three famous ships named RSS Independence. They all made historic trips. So over here, you see three ships. They are also named RSS Independence. We call them Indy for short. And that's why this book is called Indy, Indy, Indy. So for the first ship over here, it's a petrol craft. It served Singapore in 1970 to 1997. And this is the petrol vessel that took, o took over her. She served from 1998 to 2017. And from 2017 onwards, this vessel, the littoral mission vessel over here, took over. The first was a little ship, a humble petrol craft. She sailed when Singapore was young. The days were long and tough. In this picture here, you see Clifford Pier over here. And over here, you see the Fullerton Hotel. It used to be the former General Post Office. Do you know in 1965, crowds actually gathered right in front over here, and they declared support for independence of Singapore. When Singapore was growing up in a neighbourhood so wild, the little ship was bold and brave. She made danger seem mild. Growing up in a young neighbourhood surrounded by waters, there are many threats that can come from the water. There are pirates and even terrorists. She defended Singapore shores and helped many boats in need. She stopped some terrorists out at sea, made Singapore proud indeed. Do you know in 1974, the terrorists actually hijacked a ferry boat and took its crew as hostage. The Singapore Navy was called in to surround these terrorists. It was our first encounter with terrorist attack. But when she got creaky and her parts were getting old, she passed on experience and name, so independence would grow. After serving Singapore Navy for 27 years, Indy over here handed over her duties and name to a bigger and faster ship. Can you see her in the horizon? Yes, you're right, she's over here. Next was a petrol vessel serving country far and wide. A trusty ship from bow to stern, she took rough seas in her stride. You can see a lighthouse over here. This is the Hosbert Lighthouse. It's situated on Petra Branca at the most eastern side of Singapore. Why do you know why this island over here is called Petra Branca? It actually means white rock. And why do we call it white rock? There are bird droppings everywhere covering the rock, making it white. Her mascot was a marlin, the fastest fighting fish, a symbol of might and courage with a strong will to persist. She once rescued drowning men who fell from a fishing boat. She plucked them from the waters and gave them some warm clothes. She worked with other friends and sailed further out to sea, patrolling with our partners for Singapore's security. So you see over here, there are other ships, and these ships are actually from other neighbouring countries 
uh, they carry out exercises and training together to prevent piracy attack and terrorist attack out at sea. But she too grew creaky, and her parts were getting old. She passed on experience and name, so independence would grow. After serving 20 years in the Republic of Singapore Navy, she again passed her duty and her name over to the next ship. Can you see the ship behind her? Yes, you're right. This is the next RSS Independence. Third, the littoral mission vessel, designed and built at home. Smarter, faster, sharper. She'll soon have stories of her own. These three ships tell a story that the independence we see is something we all protect for Singapore to be free. Mummy does her part. I want to do mine too. I can't wait to grow up to see what I can do. Singapore's road to independence Singapore was a trading port owned by the British in the past. We had to rely on others to protect and we had to live under their rule. During World War II, the Japanese occupied Singapore. Life was hard and people suffered. We realized we could not rely on anyone else to defend us. We must defend ourselves. Singapore was part of Malaysia for two years as we had different views of what we wanted for our way of life Singapore separated from Malaysia and became independent in 1965. Today, Singapore, our nation, is strong and free. Since 1965, we have been working hard to protect Singapore as a place where everyone can progress as one united people. Being a maritime nation, meaning we are a nation surrounded by waters, the Singapore Navy keeps the waters safe so that your food and all the necessaries that you need in life comes in safely and reach you to your home. I hope you have enjoyed the story as much as I did. Bye, see you next time.